Okay. So we're going to move on and do the uh, ceiling panels. I'm just uh, preparing myself. Um, what you want to do is when we have them up there, there's two pieces. These connect together. Uh, it's not going to connect properly if you don't cut off a little bit of uh, insulation. Once you cut this off, it shouldn't give you a problem unless you're putting them both together. So after removing the uh, side for the, uh, for the molding, what you want to do is grab a Dremel or whatever you can cut with, but a Dremel is easier to use. Uh, you want to cut the outline that Legend makes so it can fit properly in the ceiling. So, once you cut those edges off, what you want to do is get the front in between the foam so it can hold the front for you. And then you want to make sure these holes match the factory ribs. That way you can button it up. Okay, so whenever you get the chance, I recommend doing this with two people. It makes it easier and you won't look uh, silly doing it. <laughs> Perfect. Once you line up the holes, you'll be able to see them. Line them up as best as you can. If they don't, like I said before, all you want to do is just make the hole slightly bigger because the uh, pushing rivets, they uh, cover it. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna try to just do two on each side and then okay. I should be all right. Nice. So once you get help uh, putting this up, what you want to do is check the front. The front, it's, un, it's not necessary for this outfit, but uh, it does hang a little bit here. But if you really want to, you can take these off and slide it up in there so it can stay up. So. The connector piece usually uh, it comes a lot bigger than what you need it to be. Um, I me just measure the ceiling where it connects, uh, the panel where it connects, and uh, I got 56 inches, so I'm just gonna measure 56 inches and cut off what I need. Okay, once you're done doing your measurements and cutting, it just snugs right in. The good thing is that you already, if you're following the video, you already cut off the extra insulation off that you don't need, so this could fit in properly. And that's it. Perfect. Nice. Once again, 
whenever you get the chance, grab somebody. So it make it a lot easier for you. Um, and what you want to do is, since you already peeled off, if you look at the video again in the beginning, if you already peeled off the insulation, all you want to do is try to slide it right in and then put in the buttons and you should be okay. It's hard, man. Right? By yourself, it's hard. Okay, so once you get at least two buttons in it, uh, ribbon buttons, or pushing clips, whatever you want to call it, um, you want to take off this light, so back here, it can be held for you if you're working by yourself or if somebody has to go somewhere else. <laughs> but yeah, it'll hold it for you. And it pops right out too. Yeah, easy to, it pops out, put it back in, really easy. Sometimes the holes for the pushing rivets, they're not big enough sometimes from factory. So what you want to do is take your drill and make the hole slightly bigger so it can go in a lot easier. So this is the trim for the ceiling. It connects with the ceiling and the side walls. So once you have everything up, this is what you want to do next. Um, just got to make sure also, if you need to read the manual, exactly how you piece it together. So you know which one goes on what side, driver's side or passenger side. Well, the first thing you want to do is put these joining pieces now because it makes it easier for you once you uh, need to join them together because you don't want to do it when you're up there because you might it might be a little bit harder or you might miss and damage the wall and then that defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> Once you have somebody help you out, same thing as the driver's side, you just want to make sure you match up on the ribs um, and catch it with the self-tapping screw. As you can see here, it's bowing a little bit, so what you want to do is drill it out. I'm putting these, as I spoke before, I'm joining these together so it can make it easier on us. So when we put the other part up there, uh, join them together, it'll be a lot easier than doing it uh, up there. So what I'm doing is just making the hole slightly bigger so it could be easier for the screw to go in.
always try to do it behind the panel so it could be a cleaner look. So the Scrappy's gonna be hidden away. Now that we have uh, one side completed, this is the driver's side. Um, it does come with extra pieces, but these pieces are unnecessary um, for, this, for this outfit uh, because it, it has the foam. You will only use this if it didn't have any foam in, in the vehicle. Um, but now that you have it completed, it is easier if you just grab somebody that can help you out so they can hold it up while you screw one side in and then you can jump in the other. <laughs> so once you have a uh, partner in crime, just make sure uh, it's lined up to the ribs of the roof because that's exactly where the holes are. So it makes it easier and it's a strong contact. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs>